So I found this really powerful tool for generating prompts for Mid Journey. It's called Emi Prompt. And even though I've actually covered it in videos in the past, I've come back to it recently and checked it out to notice it's had a few upgrades. It looks more like a prompt builder now than just a prompt generator. Now I'm gonna run through how it works and I'm gonna generate a, a few prompts and I'll show you what I mean. So I've gone to Emi Prompt, there's a link in the description below and at the moment I'm using it for free. There's no, as far as I can tell, there's no premium. You can choose to donate if you want to. But I'm gonna click on the web icon. There's also an iOS version, but I click on web and we get this interface. And it doesn't look like anything special in the beginning. But let's say I want to type in a prompt about say a man or a samurai. I have a samurai here standing in the wilderness and it says here, add text. I add that text and we get this little sort of sidebar over here. And I'm gonna come back to that because what I wanna do is come down and you'll notice there's some parameters here. Some of these are actually out of date, but you can add things like stylize in. So let's say I want to stylize and I want to make it say 750 tick. I can add a little extra chaos to it if I want to, like 60 tick. I can add in some parameters, but it has a bunch of really cool styles here. So at the moment we're looking at errors. So different decades of time. I can scroll down to ancient Rome, archaic, Baroque, and find something that matches my prompt. But it's not just these styles, there's a whole bunch of styles that you can go through. I'm gonna leave the errors for now, because even though I've got a samurai, I'm gonna try and leave it a little bit more flexible. We got these basic elements here, like DigiArt Photography, we have Niji, so we have a few Niji artists here, digital art styles, and they all show up with previews. So we have abstract digital art, digital collage. I really like, I'm gonna go with integrated art, I can add a weight of say 1.2 tick and I can go through and simply build and add upon these styles. I have character design and I'll find something here. I add Dark Lord in there. I, once again, I can add a weight, not too concerned about that right now, but I can also come back over here and adjust the weight anytime I want to. So if I wanted to add a weight later, I could come in here and be 1.3 and add that weight. So you see we're building our prompt on the left over here. And we can go through and still find things like architecture, architecture. I can never seem to say that word when I'm recording. And we find something that's gonna be useful here. So for the sake of the video, I'll run with rustic interior design. However, I'm gonna knock the weight back to about 0.8. Scroll up, I've got basic elements. So here we have errors. But just, we've got these subcategories here. So we have digital art, we have software, artists. If I go back to basic elements, we also have textures here. So I'm gonna add in blotchy and go to mediums. So different types of art. I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Colors, so we can choose a nice combination of colors. Gonna beaming colors, blue, violet, blood, red. We can go brilliant colors back up to the top. And you can see how this is very much like a prompt generator, but where it changes is when we start to put these things together. Like I said, we've got compositions here, we've got techniques. This can be a great place even just to discover styles, we've got lighting, we've got dreamy glow, and artists. I'm gonna choose this one, but I'm gonna knock the weight down to about 0.6. I don't want to have too much influence. So now we have put some bits and pieces from here and we can also search. I can also add in some more text such as, if you follow my channel, you might know I like to put a samurai in front of Mount Fuji. So I'll say Mount Fuji, add that text. And you see I got a prompt over here, but I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. So you also have this panel here. And what's cool is I can take the samurai and move it down so I have integrated art, Dark Lord, a samurai. I'll keep Dark Lord there. Maybe I'll move integrated art down to the bottom. Dreamy glow up. And where it says Mount Fuji, I'll move that somewhere halfway. So I can change the order that the styles are mentioned in and it affects the prompt up the top. And at any point, if I wanna get rid of one, such as brilliant colors, which I don't think will mix with this, although we'll go with getting rid of integrated art. I'll hit the bin icon, confirm delete, and it's gone. So it's kind of like a nifty little prompt builder that you can use. And again, like I said, you've got some parameters here. You can upload your images, 
add negative text so I can add a negative text of no clouds and that's gone into my prompt. I can upload an image if I want to and I also have an old builder you can switch to. So now we've basically been able to build a prompt using this visual interface and it's just a nice nifty fun little tool for mid-journey users. So how do we get it into mid-journey? Well, we come back to the interface and of course I can just hit copy here and it will copy this to the clipboard. If I go over to Discord, and all I have to do is paste it into the toolbar here. And because it has imagine and prompt in there, everything lands and is ready to go. And of course, I can just hit enter. Keep in mind, if you use the Midjourney website, you will have to remove the slash imagine and prompt. So I'll show you what I mean. If I come up to the prompt bar and simply paste this in and hit enter, it comes up with an error because I included the slash. So I paste that in again. So I click, paste it in again. This time I get rid of this and I can now submit my prompt. So with that in mind, how did the images turn out? Let's take a look. So these are the images we got. These are the ones we generated in Discord. These are the ones from the website. And you can see we've got a cool diversity of different styles and things I didn't expect from this prompt. And of course, I can use this prompt, make some adjustments. Like maybe I decide just to get rid of the chaos and the stylized value to kind of reel it in a bit. And then we brought it back into this style of image, which actually some of the texture in that reminds me a little of the old version three days, but with a bit more coherence and the images look a little bit more solid. But another cool thing is I had my prompt here. I can go over here to save. And of course, if I register an account, I can actually have an account and save these prompts in there. So it's a way for me to kind of catalog the prompts as well. Now I'm not signed in because I don't use the prompt generators a lot. I do like to play with them here and there, but that's just another really cool feature. But you can see how that is a great way to find some styles and experiment with bits and pieces and kind of build your prompts using their tool. So I highly recommend just have a play, go ahead and check out Emi Prompt. It's just a cool little tool for mid-journey users. And I think you'll find it very interesting and you'll discover some really cool styles and you'll love the whole drag and drop interface. But if you're looking for more prompt generators, check out the video on the screen right now where I cover a few of them. Uh, Emi Prompt is included in this, otherwise the link is in the description. Otherwise, if you like the video, please consider giving it a like. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.